All right, we got to back in with us. Yeah, yeah. Sean Paul, what's up, man? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good, man. How you doing, Thanks bud? Having me. It's good up? to see you, Our man. I, I, I love what you got going on with the hair, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's mean? a new look. That's yeah, great. Kind of um, tomahawked it out, man. Yeah. Is that the mohawk or is that the frohawk? I'd I be calling it a tomahawk. I don't know what that is, neither, but yeah. <laughs> okay, I like it. Yeah. Right like that name. yeah. It's, ca- it's kind of thicker. You know, it goes a little bit wider. Yeah, man. I, I, yeah. I was looking at all, all like, in, you know, all Indian pictures and apocalypto and all that kind of stuff. I was like, yeah. I want to hear a style that makes people go, okay. Stands back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets attention, man. Mad. That's what I like to see. What yeah, have you man. been up to, man, since we uh, talked to you, man? What's been keeping you busy? What's the latest in the world of Sean Paul? I've been good. I've been recording as usual. I like what mm-hmm. I do, so I keep recording. And um, yeah. also I started producing, so I'm expanding my whole musical, um, what you call it, experience, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. So I started recording uh, other artists in Jamaica, which uh, I gave you a little thing there. Dutty Rock Productions. I yeah, love it. okay, yeah. I got my first um, stuff on iTunes right now. Um, it's called Blaze Fire, B L A Z E F I A. Okay. So everybody could check it out if you want. A couple of Jamaican acts on myself too. Hey, tell me how this works because you know we've seen this so often. We've yeah. got a producer, somebody behind the scenes. You got you know like David Guetta's hot now. It's it's kind of weird how. Somebody behind the scenes. You got David uh, Guetta. You got Timbaland. You got Irv Gotti. You got yeah. all these guys. How is it that it seems like they come on? They come onto the scene. They got their moment. They're there. They're hot. Everybody's talking about them. Then they kind of like fade off into the distance. What happens with a lot of these behind the scene guys that are all of a sudden like thrust up front? Why? Why does it go like that? I, I think that a lot. A lot of the time, there's um, new people every year too. So that kind of shifts the interest of uh-huh. the public view. But I think they're still around. There's people making albums. Um, um, I mean, probably, are they still like so like? Much in the public, but yeah. Tell me about like like an Irv Gotti right now. Is is he still making music? Is he still like? I really have no idea what, what Irv's doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no one knows who you're talking about. Oh, is he in jail? No, he's locked up. No. Locked really? up? He's in wow. jail. Wow. <laughs> he's doing about three. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of water, man. That's he's all he's over the place me. like seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. Now, so what do you do? How do you find these artists? Like, how's this come around? People come to you. You always go on the yeah, lookout. A, a lot in Jamaica, there's a lot of artists. So, like, everybody in the community knows each other. So, every uh-huh. time there's a new kid springing up, within a couple of days, I'll be hearing, oh, there's this kid. Listen, this, listen, that. Yeah. So, I kind of know. And then they come, they come check me and. Like a lot of time, people just check me and just like, yo, listen, listen to my mixtape. Like, I got something from somebody this morning just down the road. Nice. Yeah. So, so people are always giving you mixtapes. Yeah, things to listen, and and that kind of inspires me. Not not like I have time to listen to everybody's mixtape, but it inspires me as to what direction people are looking in and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, I have uh, a mixtape. Can you please listen to it right now? <laughs> <laughs> I am sure. Hey, what does somebody need to do? Because, you know, even, even uh, you know, I have nothing to do with, like, producing or the music scene and all this kind of tell. stuff. I know. <laughs> yeah. How is it that uh, how is it that somebody gives you a mixtape and you actually listen to it? Like, what do they have to do to... Just because I remember when I used to do that, make my own mixtape, and, and I believed in what I did so much that I would put it on a CD and give it to someone who... Was or wasn't in the biz, uh-huh. so I get I get them the chance. There's some people we listen to and we're like, oh my god, OMG, man, this is crazy. Like, yeah, this dude, what was he thinking? But um, there, there's a lot of people that um that you check out and and it's like, yo, it's cool. I may stay in touch on Twitter or whatever, and until you know, there's time to work, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I just did something with a young artist in France. Okay, she's coming out. I, I was given a little, you know, um, one or two songs that she did. And it was like, yeah, let's do it. So right, right about now, me and her have a single, and she's about to put it out. You know what I mean? So it's now, is there something that she did to get your attention, or does it always have to be like a word of mouth? Like you got a buddy saying, <laughs> "Hey, look, that you well, believe that's I didn't credible." See her at first, but she's beautiful. Yeah, uh, of she's course. hot. That's yeah, how you she, get their attention. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but she, she got, um, she got, she got a real good voice. So yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Style, but the point is that sometimes things come on these these little mixtapes or these little um, CDs that I get. You know I mean? How was it for you, like, when you got going? What was the one thing that really launched Sean Paul that, you know, was your was your big break? Who was it that was, like, most influential in really getting you out there and getting your first song going? Um, the first song that I had going in, in, uh, in I'd say, the States was probably Deport Them. Mm-hmm. And that kind of was due to Hype Williams coming out to Jamaica shooting a movie called Belly. I was okay. In, I was in, like, two seconds of Belly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I was okay. on stage like like there for a minute. So uh-huh. um a lot of people in the States I think got a good a good um 
just like a, a, a open ear shot of me in, in, in that small performance. They were like, yo, who's that guy? And so, um, yeah, I think it, it be, it, that movie being an underground, like, cut, mm-hmm. just big it up, like, you know what I mean? Like, it helped me over here. So getting in there, and, like, how do you get into a movie like that? Because I'm sure everybody, like, th- th- there's probably a gazillion well, talented yeah, artists. Say, my, my, my career is, like, in different stages, so I can mark when I had my first tune out in Jamaica. That was a big step for me, too. Yeah. And that led to, to me being able to be chosen to do belly and then you know what i mean right go on so yeah and then big hits now tell me what what is more exciting for you is, is it more exciting to be able to like launch an artist and have somebody like become big or for you to get your own oh i like top- to get my own yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but like I'm, the way i'm doing it is just like helping to encourage and like voicing these dudes so that they could they could get a, a more a, a bigger exposure already the the cd um, it ain't selling no great amounts, um, mm-hmm. but it's it's getting a lot of um, attention towards certain songs or whatever. So I'm glad to be able to present those songs to the world. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's really it, it's a it's a vicious it's a weird cycle, man. When you want to get out there and when you want to be like the the hot and and, and on top, and you gotta yeah. like keep your name up there and, and keep sure. it fresh. It's almost like you gotta have some kind of like you haven't had like a major sex scandal. Yeah, I there's was saying, there's I'm, nothing I'm, like too weird that's going on with you right now. My tape or something. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I was. I thinking, know some girls that you can probably call. <laughs> I have a camera. Yeah, we can make this happen. We can make this happen uh, by noon. Yeah, I think we need to start shooting the Sean Paul sex tape. Let's get this thing yeah, going and then out there, man. Bam. Right. Can we be in the background? Oh, for sure, cheering me on. Yeah, yeah that's I, I. I love that. Yeah, no, <laughs> you've never seen a sex tape with a live studio audience. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, you have? There's a lot of stuff on the internet. Oh. Yeah, right. He's yeah. seen it all. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, tell me about the stuff that you got out like right now. Like, what's the direction? What's the sound for people to be like, yeah, man, I'd love to check it out. Like, what's um, what's I going got, on right now? I got a new album working on right mm-hmm. now. It's going to drop about February. Um, okay. But, um, yeah, I got the first single called Got to Love You Out right now. It features Alexis Jordan. Okay. And she was, back in 06, she was on America's Got Talent. She came second. Okay, okay, yeah, like the name a, sounded familiar, yeah. She was yeah. a 14-year-old kid, and then she went to England, and she won that one. Okay. She was it? Britain's Got Talent. So okay. She's been big over there. She signed um, to um, to to Stargate, and, and they kind of came up with a single idea for me. So um, Stargate so is, is Norwegian, um, um, you know, production group, mm-hmm. and they, they basically um, have, you know, they they want to work with me. I want to work with them, but they, I've gotten them to make dance hall from their perspective. Right. So so it sounds a lot bigger, a lot more international. Um, I'm doing my productions on the album too, but I got Benny Blanco on the album, who is like amazing. Um, um, you know, hit producer right now. Right. Okay. Um, big up to him. Um, I got Akon producing on the album too. That's right. That's huge. Um, That's so great. Yeah, a couple different stuff. I got I got a song with Kelly Rowland that that we did with Stargate. Oh, I love okay, her. Okay, cool. Yeah, Are you recording too. a lot of music in South Florida? You got some names like. Yeah. Do you do in Jamaica too? I, yeah, in Jamaica also. Um, uh uh-huh. we, we did something in the states and uh, uh-huh. up in um sorry in New York. Okay, yeah, that's we, all right. We're gonna come back here in in October and finish up some stuff. Um, in Florida here. That's yeah. awesome. I, I know you got a, a little bit of an entourage here. Is this is this yeah. your muscle? Is this your bodyguard? No, nah, that's just that's just a, that's just Mo. Okay, <laughs> that's just Mo. Mo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't want to cross Mo. Uh, no, yeah. Mo looks like he can end me with just uh, a look. Yes. Mo, yeah, is his last name Payne or something yeah. like that? <laughs> Big up, sir. Good lead nose, man. Richie. That's awesome, man. Well, I tell you, dude, it's great having you in here, man. I want to check out uh, some of the new stuff that you got. Yeah, I've got to spin and uh, Sean Paul. Always good talking to you, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate